Hi guys, today I am working on my tag, my Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous thick board tombstone overlay tag. I'm having a little technical difficulties. I think you can actually see cords down here on the floor. I wanted people to be able to see above my hands. Well, my internet clipped out, so the first few are not on here. But I'll go back over what I did to come up with this tag. And then, you know, you can tweak it, make it the same, whatever your heart desires. So I used some feather boa right here, which I will glue down in a minute. Not everything's glued down. I used this hand. He's glued down. This is from a Pottery Barn bottle opener I have, and one broke. And I just saved it. So, you know, sometimes just found objects can be wonderful. Anything that comes up and is kind of long and thin will, will, you know, move the eye upwards. I used the Fright from the Tim Holtz Sizzix Alterations Thinlets dies. And I used black glitter for everything that I cut out. And here's a piece of the black glitter paper. So I cut out the chandelier back here. I apologize, I can't pull that up. I glued that down with just some Elmer's, let's see if you can see it, board mate. So just some Elmer's glue. It glued down wonderfully. It really stuck well to this paper. I will glue the fright down too, like that. Let's see. The chandelier is from this Sizzix Biggs die. And this is uh, an older die, but I bought this off Sizzix.com because I wanted a chandelier. And I'm not sure if I told you die cuts with a view, fall glitzy matte stack. And it has really pretty colors. I use the black. And like I said, this is the, this is the paper. Cut very well with that die that Biggs die, and I showed you that I used the Fright, and then this is just a, a die I picked up off eBay, just because I love all things Halloween, and maybe 99 cents or a dollar, very inexpensive, May, maybe a dollar fifty, you know, so of course I have Mr. Bones, and this is the witch, pick her up. And I'm planning on running her through a little Xyron machine. I kind of threw this wand. It was so shiny. I wanted her in matte so she would stand out and kind of look like almost like a shadow of a witch flying in the background. Uh, this hand is glued down, but I use the bone collector from the word bands. The Tim Holtz Ideology Word Bands. These are so cool. And I'll put this over here. I'll put my Fright over here. And then I've had some feathers in my, in my little craft closet. And though I thought black feathers with a little silver tip, he needs a little feather in his hat anyways. I mean, come on. Now you might like it plain. It, I mean, it looks cool just like that. Let's look at it without all the girly stuff. And it's phenomenal, just like that. I just wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit. So, in order to make him darker, you could use him completely white. Very cool. He really pops. But, since this kind of looked aged, I thought, let's, let's just vintage him up with a little vintage photo and my little Tim Holtz tool. And I'm going to, I believe, pop him up on some tape. I also added glossy accents to his hat because, oh, it makes him so sturdy. And it just adds a little something to me. All right, so what do we have? We will start sticking things down. So... Get everything the way. This I used hot glue. You may be able to see that hot glue bubble right there. 
but I used hot glue just on the points. And if for some reason this were to come off in storage, I, I mean, it's my own craft. I could just repair it. No big deal. So maybe I will put down the fright and show you guys what I did. So this is all I did. A little bit of glue and then I wiped off any excess with a baby wipe. And you know some things are gonna you're gonna have to go back And not every spot has to be hit. So easy. It's going to be so pretty. My own little work of art. I think it's fun to take all, all these little items and just everyone can create their own unique, just tweak it a little bit and everybody's will turn out differently. All right, I think that's sticky enough. And I have the, oh, on the chandelier, I cut off one piece. I cut off this piece so it would be a little off center. I just kind of always like things to be a little shifted. Hopefully, you'll be able to get the desk because that's the bad thing about only having one of these. All right, let's work with Mr. Bone. I don't know where we left off. I was saying how cool the bone collector from the word bands looked. And it just looks cool right there. I mean, everything's so cool about this. I'm going to, I think, yeah, I think pop him up on some tape. And I have him to order this thick 3M and Scotch tape from target.com and it came here and I was like, oh, it's so big. And then I thought, ooh, that's gonna work perfect. <laughs> perfect. So, happy accidents. Anything, I may have cut this a little too long, but I'm gonna line that right up there. Yes, and then I'll trim it off right here. Boy, I do not like it when the tape sticks out. Ooh, I don't like that at all. So this, just cut and make it work right here. This is a little chin. Is a little skinnier. There we go. And then I'll cut this off to support his hat. That piece is a little shorter. Make sure it doesn't stick out. And I think that's a little too wide. I like the 3M tape because it's very sturdy when you go to trim it up with scissors. It, um, it's just nice how sturdy it is. That is probably good enough. I might put a little bit more behind his hat. And then whatever scraps I have left using different spots.
probably would work, but again, I am so picky about the tape sticking out. Just am not a fan of tape sticking out. Mr. Bones will be on there for good. Once he goes on, he is on. I just kind of use up everything. Yeah, he's on there good. But like I said, if for some reason he pops off a year or two down the road, we made it so we can get it right off. And I wanted to glue this on here. And I'm going to try that multi medium mat in my little my little tube and see how that as I don't use this that often but I have been using this for Halloween stuff and it works fantastic now I know why everybody uses this just a little bit I just thought that would kind of be cool right there. Whoops. Now my glossy accents may work against me. I don't know. Just don't know. I have a feeling it will be fine. <laughs> Well, since it's not wanting to stick, wipe it off. I'll dry it off and we will try hot glue. I feel like that will be fine. And this might be one of those pieces that, well, it fell off. Oh, that's on there perfect. It's on there perfect. And I have it kind of sticking out because I'm going to put these behind him. I'll put him like this. Mr. Bones. And then I thought I would put... About three feathers would be kind of fantastic just like that so so I'm gonna have to figure that out there's a, where there's a will there's a way right guys well, I'm very happy with this thick tape <laughs> I hope you guys are ordering or have already purchased your tombstones and have as much fun as I have had. I cannot wait to sit this out. I know it's only September, but I am definitely sitting this out. But I think, I think because this is so sticky, I think it may work to just do this. That is some sticky business back there. Okay, so he is trying to be finicky. So I'm going to just kind of see if I can break it or adjust it so it wants to go forward because we don't want it going all crooked. And I can always hot glue. Oh my gosh. That looks fantastic. Turn it just a smidge. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Not too much. That is perfection. I'm going to put a dot of hot glue behind these guys. I'm 
probably should have thought about exactly where I wanted to sit this, but we will get it there in a mere moment. That's kind of hot. Okay. He's on, he's down. Now I'll have to just be careful with my hot glue spider web I've got going on. This is a much more adhesive part, this part. Like, I didn't think about that, how much adhesive you need. He is on there. So happy. All right. That's, um, that's just my little trash can you heard. Now, so the fright is on there good. This wants to peel up, so we'll put a little bit more of my glue. And this is probably very common with this um, this dye because it is so gorgeous and delicate. Just love it. Oh, beautiful. When I say common, meaning it's probably a little tougher to get down, I maybe should have used my little Xyron, but I just, I wanted to glue it down and make sure it was down forever. And what's cool about the paper I chose is this glue was wiping right off because it's kind of slick. So if you're doing like me and using a lot of glue, you may want to choose one of the slicker papers Okay, or choose a slick type paper. Paint would be perfect. All right, so my plan is to put this right here. So we need to find out where Bone Collector needs to go. Oh my gosh, just too good. I don't know if I should darken Bone Collector or leave it. I kind of like it subtle. I like it being subtle. Okay. So, now I, I have seen people use sticky tape on these. Let's try this. Let's try this multimedia mat. Surely this will work. It's kind of raised up. It's really only sitting on this chandelier. So I might have to go with hot glue. Okay. So we tried that. Get some hot glue. This thing's gonna heat up when I do the hot glue. I need to know exactly where it's going. Maybe that's why people put adhesive on it. I'm just gonna chance my luck. It's warm, but it's not crazy. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I like that. It makes it come up off the page even more. Okay. Love it. Very happy with that. So if you want it to sit flush, use adhesive or be patient and use the multimedia mat. You could probably put it on there, sit it down, walk away, come back in 30 minutes or an hour and it would be fine. Wow, this is assembling so easily. 
Okay, so when I initially had thought about that, but I changed the feathers. But that, just so you guys can see, very cool. And this, I want just like this. So, let's see how fast I can act. I'll do it in sections. Hot glue can just be so messy. I'm just going to hold it down. It's on there. It's on there good. And this actually is going to secure my bony hand. My little skeleton arm. It is on there good. This thick board stuff is so sturdy. Love it. Okay. And yes, I know with this project, I have gotten feathers and I have gotten glue everywhere, but I just kind of love, I mean glitter. I have gotten feathers and glitter everywhere, but I just, I love girly stuff like that sometimes. And I think this is makes it very Halloween fabulous. And this glue gun with this trigger and this tiny nozzle are helping me out immensely with this. Uh, this either came from Michaels or Joanne. Add tech to temperature. And it's one, I don't know if you can see this giant glue stick. And it's huge. It's almost the length of a ruler. It's crazy. But I love it. Oh, MG. So good. So good. Okay, well, I am a happy crafter right now. Not a happy camper. Happy camper. I'm a happy crafter. So you've got this, the bone collector. Everything's on there but her. And I thought I would do her with the Xyron. And she's very delicate. So I'm going to have to be very careful. This Xyron I picked up at Home Shopping years ago. Let's see if you guys can Let's see. I'll come over here. And just kind of stick her. Make sure she fits. She just rides right in there. And then you just tear. This the the little one I had had um, wax paper or something on it that you had to rub off. This one doesn't. This one takes it off for you. It's nice. I'm just going to rub my fingers over it, get any excess glue adhesive off. See if you can see that. Just that kind of stuff bugs me. I mean, when you're making something this good, you want it to be good. You want it to be just right. I have glue all over me. <laughs> oh, see if you can see how sticky she is the tip of her broom to the tip of the other end of the broom. Oh my gosh. And just, I have some little loose pieces of glitter. I'm not worried about. They will just blow right off. And I believe when I stick her on, I will be able to get this extra adhesive off. Yeah, it comes right off. You peel her up. She's a little too low. Boy, I'm using that baby wipe, aren't I? You can tell I've never used this before. How's that? I love this spiderweb paper. Oh my gosh. 
beautiful. I've gotten everything secured. This did not take that long. It's done. Oh my gosh, it is done. So where can I sit this up so you guys can see it? And I am going to adjust this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I hope this inspires people to go ahead and start working on their tombstones. This is fantastic. I cannot wait to get a plate stand and prop it up. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it wasn't too bad since it cut out on me. Not sure why that happened. But happy crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.